In this video, we're going to look at one of the most critical features of a dry gas seal, hydrodynamic grooves and how they operate. As always, please remember to click the subscribe button to see new AES seal content as soon as it's released. Starting at the outer diameter of the rotating ring and typically extending to the radial midpoint, these grooves are only a few microns deep and are one of the most important and carefully engineered features of a dry gas seal. As the dry gas seal rotates, seal gas flows from the outer diameter of the rotating ring, where it is compressed as the volume reduces within the grooves. This creates an area of high pressure known as a pressure dam. This high pressure causes the sealing surfaces to separate or lift off and the dry gas seal to operate without the surfaces coming into contact. The gap between the surfaces during normal operation can be extremely small, so small that it is measured in microns. Let's put that into perspective. Here we see a scaled cross-section of a typical human hair, which measures approximately 80 microns. Here we see our dry gas seal faces. The typical running gap between these two surfaces is as low as 3 microns. This gap is maintained while the dry gas seal rotates thousands of times per minute, sealing hundreds of bar of pressure. Although dry gas seal grooves come in many different designs, they all ultimately carry out the same function, to provide lift. AES Seal are able to repair and upgrade any and all dry gas seal groove designs currently available in the market. In addition, AES Seal are the only dry gas seal provider that can supply the patented HHCS Dual Dam Groove, which provides robust and reliable performance under the most challenging conditions such as slow roll. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see new AES Seal content as soon as it's released. And you can also check us out at aesseal.com.